Good Friday afternoon to you ladies and gentlemen. Beer 30. Beer. Drink that beer, boy. Pro skull cheers and all that stuff. Anyway, it is Friday afternoon and I am having a cold cerveza, so to speak. Here's to you, here's to me. I hope you're enjoying your evening and you've got a long weekend, you guys that are still in the workforce. And I hope you enjoy your long weekend. Here's to you and me and everybody else. Muy bueno. El gudo. <laughs> anyway, did y'all see the snake video? God dang. Can you believe that crap? I mean, and I'm pretty damn paranoid, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm watching that road and stuff. and Man. And there was a diamondback rattlesnake. That's what it was. It sure was. And it was probably about four feet long. Hey, Google. How far can a rattlesnake strike? On the website gf.nd.gov, they say, as a rule of thumb, rattlesnakes can, at best, strike a distance of two-thirds their total body length. Okay, for example, a three-foot long may be able to strike two feet. Well, whatever. Let me tell you what, here's my rule of thumb. You assume that that three-foot, four-foot, five-foot rattlesnake can strike 50 feet and then get the hell out of Dodge. I mean, I was 15 feet away and I'm watching that snake because, you know, can they move quickly? Yeah, they can move pretty quick, but they can't strike when they're moving. Therein lies the dilemma. <clears throat> but anyway, it is Friday evening. I've been sitting here with my male glasses on, male call glasses on. Why? I don't know, because they're, uh, what do you call it? They're paranoid? No, they're Polaroid, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's to you with my paranoid glasses on. <laughs> paranoid Polaroid. Who gives a damn about my Polaroid? <laughs> so guys, a little sanity session here. I was sitting outside for a while and then it occurred to me that it's not very comfortable out there because it's about 88 degrees. And uh, even though I was in the shade and the humidity is reasonably low, yeah, it was okay, and then I'm thinking, well, which would be more comfortable? To be sitting inside an air-conditioned comfort, listening to my air conditioner, which is pretty loud, like all RVs, or be out here, and I'm thinking, well, why don't we go inside? So I did, and here I am. But anyway, so Wednesday next week, the 8th, I will be moving to an RV park on a ranch, and it's got great route, got great views, got it's remote, it's a fair price, they got a little laundry room and uh, cell phone signal is muy bueno, very good, very good. Got a good signal there and it's not very crowded. You know what I mean? I mean there's big spaces and the people that are there are mainly uh, my age or in that range. So, you know, it's not, it's not like you're going to be listening to a lot of hip hop music uh, at midnight. And uh, so, yeah. But the plan there, if there is a plan, since I have tried Capitan, you see this all fits together. Capitan, 6,800 feet, 6,700 feet in that range. Had a place there for a while. Very nice, you know, very cool, very comfortable in the summer. I never tried the winter, so I can't say. But uh, it was all right. But I sold, I sold that. Also bought me a place in uh, Cloudcroft, uh, about 8,500 feet. And it was okay, but it was a little too big. So now, you know, uh, maybe, you know, we're kind of I'm moving down to about 5,300 feet. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I've talked with the uh, uh, Pinnacle propane people about getting a tank out there because that's where they get them. And I'll get me a, maybe, a, I, think it's a, I, th I think the most they can put on an RV or you know, hook up to an RV is like a 120 gallon tank. But hell, that's good for me for two years, you know, or more maybe, I don't know. Uh, well, if I was there in the winter, since these furnaces and RVs are, are hogs, uh, maybe it would only be one year, I don't know. But uh, yeah, for the whole hookup, they told me it'd be, you know, they, they come out, they set the tank, hook it up to the RV, and they, they hook it up in such a way that you can, you know, unhook it and, and then drive off in your RV or your motorhome. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, it's like 400 bucks and that's everything. That's with a full tank, uh, delivered, installed, the whole thing. So uh, yeah, we'll see. And, uh, and then as far, what else did I think about? Oh, as far as mail, M-A-I-L, uh, 
I'll probably get a Carrizozo uh, P.O. box. What's this got to do with the price of turnips in Africa? Nothing. Why do I have these stupid glasses on? I have no clue. You know, uh, I just looked at them and I thought, hell, I bought them. Why don't I wear them? These cost me, like, I want to tell you the truth. These cost me a, a lot of money. Ten bucks. I can't remember where I saw them. I just picked them up. Because I wanted to see if I could wear them without, since these are not prescription glasses, I just wanted to see how it would work. Uh, it doesn't work worth a crap. <laughs> it was a hell of a plan, though. I thought, well, shit, maybe I don't need them. You know what I mean? Hang on a minute. I had a call from my son on the other phone. He's uh, he's going to somewhere. I go into a lake somewhere. Him and a friend of his and some buddies are ganging up. He's got a jet ski. They got jet skis, and they're gonna, I guess, party hardy or whatever. Whatever they do is fine with me. All I'm thinking about is those sneaky snake boy. Woo dog. Yeah, that'll that'll. You know, I was kind of, you know, kind of limping along there, not much energy, and all of a sudden, whew, you got a little shot of adrenaline? Yeah, I feel pretty good. <laughs> Yo, all of a sudden I was seven feet tall and uh, doing one-handed push-ups. God almighty. Oh, man. Yeah, that'll get you. That'll damn sure get you. Anyway, what else can I tell you guys? All I got to say about this life is do what you got to do and do the hell out of it. You know what I mean? And uh, so uh, what else? I got anything else here? Uh, yeah, you know, as far as having the place at the RV park, uh, you know, it's no different than any RV park, and they're all about the same. You know, fortunately, uh, the owner was honest enough to tell me, you know, that there was one dog that kind of barked every now and then, and I'm way away from that. But, you know, again, a lot of people may think I don't like dogs. I don't mind dogs a damn bit. I like dogs. I'd have a dog. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I just don't want to listen to them bark all night you know, or all day. You know, I'm trying to take a nap. Yip, yip, yip. Enough said about that. Moving forward, the good news is... Life is good, you make it that way, and forget it. Don't watch the news and all that banana stuff. And uh, let me look at something here. I'll see if I can do something right here. Be a little different. Uh, let's go here. See, I got this other phone. That's a Pixel 4a right there. And this is, hang on a minute. Let me get it set up. I'll look at a couple of comments here and see what we got. Uh, this is on the rattlesnake. Hell, I can't read with this. <laughs> Yo, nice try. Uh, anyway, it says, uh, yep, that was on the rattlesnake. This is shift. He says, yep, that much I know. I have, I've, he I've heard that. GTFO, whatever that means. That snake is almost, oh, Clint Price says, that snake is almost as mean as my wife. Stay safe, Rusty. We, al we, we always need you healthy. Yeah, well, I'm trying to stay that way. Uh, <laughs> Deb says, yep, know them well. Beautiful, Spiderhead says, beautiful little creature from a distance. Yeah, I hear that. Uh, anyway, Larry says, goodness snakes, you got his goat. You must have convinced him you have a, your own goat. I don't have the goat right now. I don't see it. Uh, yeah, Gary, Gregory Bowles said, I would have had an immediate beer 30 after seeing that rattlesnake. Maybe a whiskey 30 also. But anyway, enough of that. Just wanted to check a few of them out here because I'll miss them tomorrow. We get so many. And when I do, there's my little antenna sticking up in it. Well, that's because the wind's kind of blowing down here. I've got a fan on. And do y'all care about any of this shit that I'm talking about? <laughs> I mean, yo. I'm sitting here talking like I think all this is important. It don't mean a hill of beans, does it? I mean, I almost got bit by a snake. Well, almost. Not really. I mean, it was it was off on the right side of the road. I was on the left, and I got close enough, and my eyes went boing, 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 and my immediately my uh, great uh, neural links and all that stuff, neurals, whatever they are, uh, immediately went on and said, "There's a stick in the road." Wrong. Moving stick with rattler equals snake. That will work. So guys, from, where am I? Oliver Lee State Park, soon to be on a ranch near here at a, at a RV park. You know, uh, I've thought about that too. You know, I, I do, I do. I've, have y'all noticed that I move around? Look at that light right on my end of my nose. Let me get it right on the nose. It's coming through these little curtains here. 
see if I can find it again. Where was it? Oh, there it is. Got to go forward. I'll see if I can get it right on the end of my nose. It's uh, see, there's little holes in there. You know. Oh, there it is. There it is. Did I get it right, right where a booger would be? <laughs> God dang it! Get out of here. I mean, isn't that something? How about this? The nose, nose. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it. I can see it. I'm not crazy. I'm fine. Here's to you guys. Friday night, man. Uh, on a long weekend. Hell, enjoy your life best you can. And there's one gnat. And guess where the gnat is? Do, 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 do. You know what I mean? One gnat in the whole, the whole big home I live in. Oh. Something else I thought about. You know, if this place works out, which I know y'all give it about a 10% chance. <laughs> I give it a 20. I don't know. I, it, it, it'll work out, guys. I mean, as far as staying there year round, I don't know, because I got to go to uh, uh, Texas in uh, November because I need to get my eyes checked, my skin checked, because I do that every year. Why am I doing this? I have no damn idea. You know, I just, it's nervous energy, I guess. Y'all want to know what I'm going to have for supper tonight? Uh, I'm going to have that light on the end of my nose, what I'm going to have. No, I'm going to have, uh, I've got two slices of. Uh, that's the last slices of a, a loaf of bread. It's a sourdough wheat bread, and damn, it's good. They slice it up for you. They bake it in these deals like this at uh, Lowe's here in uh, Alamogordo on 10th Street. It's a grocery store. Then you can have them slice it up. And I got two little slices left. And I'm going to make me a grilled uh, uh, pimento, che pimento cheese, yeah, I guess you'd say. Yeah, grilled. Because I got some whole pimentos and I got cheese. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love that light. I mean, it, it couldn't be anywhere else. It couldn't be here or up here. No, it's got to be right here. You know what I mean? See? You know, that's Murphy's Law. It's the fine. But anyway, so I'm going to have me a grilled cheese sandwich and some popcorn. And, uh, yeah, and it'll be like movie night while I'm reading a, a uh, Arthur C. Clarke science fiction uh, book. It's about Rama, the, the kind of the asteroid spaceship thing with the aliens on it. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's pretty good. And have a glass of wine and enjoy my evening, guys. And so what I say to you is, enjoy yours. Why not? You know what I mean? hundred years from now, they won't even know you were here. You know, They don't even know you're here now. You know what I mean? You know, the only people that, are, that appear to be here are the people that are on TV. You know what I mean? Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, that's it, guys. Yabba dabba do. I'm looking for... Uh, yeah, the good thing about the RV park, for me is uh, since there seems to be more people are being, I'm not going to say it seems like it here, because here at uh, Oliver Lee State Park, you know, Labor Day weekend, Friday evening, they're coming in now a few. So this park will probably be about, oh, I don't know, 60, 70 percent full, which is, I guess, okay. And, uh, but, you know, the, 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 the deal of, of making constant reservations uh, is a little bit wearing on you, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you think, well, okay, i got to go, go here, here, here. Because, you know, I've done the loop, you know, I've, I've been here a couple of times. I've been to uh, uh, Cavallo Lake, Elephant Butte, back over to Valley of the Fire, you know, do 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 like a little mouse running in a circle. And, uh, yeah, uh, that, I could do that for a long time, I guess, or go somewhere else in New Mexico or whatever I wanted to do. But then gas becomes a factor, you know, at three two seventy five three dollars $3 a gallon, whatever it is. And, uh, and just driving all the time, I don't know. I, I'm going to try a little more permanent, I guess you'd say. You know, you know I've tried that before. But the good news, see, y'all think I move a lot, but I really don't. Because I had that place in Kingsland, uh, uh, near Kingsland, out off Park Road 4. I had it for 16, is that right? Yeah, 16 years. I sure did. I lived there. I had that spot for 16 years. I did. And uh, did I like it? I, obviously, I did. I was there for a long time. Let me get that light right where it's really irritating. Yeah, there you go. Hello. Anyway, anyway, guys, uh, enjoy your life the best you can. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, then now let's back up. We'll rerun that. Take two. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want. Nope. Cut three.
Thumbs up. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Now see, which one of those takes was, was the best? See, if you go like this. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. See, that doesn't do a hell of a lot, does it? I mean, you could probably get by with that, but if you do this. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Uh, buy anything you want anytime. Use the Amazon link. Click on the deal. Go to the deal. <laughs> you know what I mean. Keep your health. Enjoy your life. You know what I mean? Life is what it is. And it's short. You know, I and mean, it's getting shorter. Anyway, guys, enjoy your Friday evening. And here's to you. Here's to me. Should we ever disagree? <laughs> oh, a little old Nat almost got him. At ease, carry on, adios. Accentuate the positive, stand guard at the door of your mind, bye bye. Enjoy your weekend, man. I think, how many times have I said that? 15? Bye. What can I say? <laughs>